What's going on Tamers? It's a great day and that's because the new Double Typhoon Advanced deck featuring Terrymon and Lockmon finally released for the Digimon card game. I think with the recent BT16 reveals happening day by day, this fella and all the cards in it have kind of been left by the wayside and I haven't seen a lot of folks talking about it, but actually this little advanced deck packs quite a punch. So in this video, we're gonna aim to talk about some of the important cards in this deck, how to play the deck, uh, some really good common routes and moves you can make using the cards in here, as well as a couple of cards you can use to beat this bad boy up if you wanna take it really seriously. Also, if you wanna know exactly what's in here, and let me tell you, there's actually quite a bit. This thing is actually pretty heavy. Uh, I'll be doing a separate unboxing video, so stay tuned to the channel and make sure you're subscribed to know exactly when that video goes up. That being said, let's take a look at a couple of key cards in here and a little bit about how to play the deck. So I want to talk about four cards, and those four cards are basically the poster boys for this advanced deck. The first one being the Terriamon, who lets you play either a Lopmon or a Green Tamer for cost minus two with its main effect once per turn. Speaking of Lopmon, he also has a main effect once per turn where you can give one of your Digimon Alliance a very, very powerful effect. Next up is the option card, Double Typhoon. Very similar to one of the memory boosts or the training cards. When you play this guy, you search three cards off the top of the deck, grab a green Digimon and a green Tamer, put them in hand, and in the following turn, you can use the delay to play Tyriamon or Lopmon from your hand without paying its cost. This card is gonna be instrumental in some of your power plays with the deck. And finally, I wanna talk about the new Ace card introduced here, Mega Gargamon Ace. He's a bit of an expensive Digivolve at four costs coming from a green or a black level five, but also has the special Digivolution rule where he can Digivolve from a Digimon with Rapidmon in its name for cost five. This is really important because Rapidmon is one of the few Digimon in the game that exists at two different levels. The first being level four and the second being level five, both of which exist in this deck. And because you can counter blast Digivolve this guy, even having a level four in the field is incredibly scary for your opponent to make an attack. With that out of the way, let's next take a look at the overall game plan for the deck. During the early game, you want to play out your Terriamons to search out cards, as well as your Double Typhoon card to set up for big power plays later on, while always holding on to your Lopmon cards. With your Raising Area set up with a level 3 and a Double Typhoon on the board, then you can pull out your level 3, Digivolve to a level 4, use Double Typhoon's effect to play a Lopmon, give your level 4 Digimon Alliance, and then from there, tons of shenanigans can happen. Let's look at a few specific routes to see exactly what I mean here. So turn one, we're gonna get our Terriamon and Raising, and then also play a Double Typhoon card so we can help find a Lopmon in the deck. The following turn, we're gonna promote Terriamon, Digivolve him into Gargomon, use Double Typhoon's effect to play a Lopmon. Lopmon will then use his own effect to give the Gargomon Alliance. You can use Gargomon to attack. You can use the Alliance effect here to rest a Lopmon, gain a thousand DP and check with two security attacks, and he also has jamming. Then to seal off the turn, you can play him into a Rapidmon and use him to threaten a Mega Gargamon Ace. So next, let's look at a more resource-oriented play. The start here is gonna look really similar to the last game, except you're gonna grab like a Terriamon from the deck. Then you're gonna promote your own Terriamon, use Double Typhoon to play your second Terriamon here. You can use his effect to play a Tamer at cost minus two, so we're gonna play the Willis Tamer here. And then we're going to use Willis Tamer to hatch another egg. You can then Digivolve into the Wendigo Mon here to destroy your Terrier Mon, and then immediately pull him back from the trash because of Wendigo Mon's effect, and then you can reuse his once per turn effect because he's technically a new instance of a Digimon on board. Here I recommend ending your turn by setting a Memory Tamer, that way every turn after this you're gonna start with three Memory and you also don't pass too much over to your opponent. Finally, we're gonna look at a play using the new Rapid Mon. So like before, we're gonna start off with the Terrier Mon and Double Typhoon, pull a Lop Mon to hand. The following turn, we're gonna promote the Terrier Mon here, use Double Typhoon to play out the Lop Mon like before, then we're going to digivolve our Terriamon into the Rapidmon. We're going to use the Lopmon's effect to give the Rapidmon Alliance. Then Rapidmon can attack. He's going to gain the well, plus 1,000 and the security attack plus one off of the Alliance here. And its own effect is going to reduce all your opponent's security by 4,000 DP. So he's going to get two checks with 9,000. It's 9,000, not 8,000 because he gets plus 1,000 from the Terriamon below him. If you have a different Terriamon here, then it'll be 8,000, but just keep that in mind. The cool thing about that last turn is that you still threaten with the Mega Gargamon Ace because the Rapid Mon on the board, even though it's level four, still meets the requirements to be Digivolved into him for a Counter Blast Digivolve. So now that you have a better idea of how the deck works and kind of what it does, now let's take a look at some cards you can use to beef up that deck's power just a bit. The first thing I recommend you do right off the bat is grab two more copies of the Lopmon, the Terriamon, the Double Typhoon Option card, and the Mega Gargamon Ace for that deck. The deck itself comes with only two copies of each, so in order to get a full set, you're going to want to grab two advanced decks. So now with those cards out of the way, let's talk about a couple cards that aren't included in the advanced deck you might want to try out. The first one, I think, is the BT-8 Chimera Mon. Because the deck runs green, yellow, black, and purple cards, Chimera Mon gets significant power increases as a result. 
In that same vein, I recommend copies of Heaven's Judgment from EX4. Like I said before, because the deck runs so many colors, Heaven's Judgment only gets stronger being able to give multiple Digimon minus 6,000 DP over the course of a turn. And even though the card is yellow, because you have a green Digimon or Tiamor on board, the card's own effect allows you to play it. Speaking of removal, I also recommend the BT8 Rapidmon, who has the nice armor purge ability like the one in this deck, as well as the ability to give Digimon minus 5,000 DP for the turn. Additionally, if you have some Tamers down and your opponent has a big block in the way of you and their security, you can use the Rapidmon's effect to rest one of their Digimon for every Tamer you have on the board. While we're on the subject of Tamers, this deck does include a couple copies of the older Willis card, who lets you hatch eggs in your breeding area when you play him. Additionally, it includes a couple copies of the old Henry Tamer card, who starts you off at 3 memory every single turn. A card I might recommend trying out here is actually the old Mimi Tamer, who kind of consolidates both of these effects into one. Keep in mind, you're going to be missing out on a couple of effects, for example, the Willis's ability to reduce Digivolve costs whenever you go into a Gargamon or a Rapidmon, and Henry's ability to suspend Digimon whenever your Gargamon or Rapidmon attack. And then finally, maybe a copy or two of the EX4 Terrymon Assistant. This is only if you wanted to have bigger stats than your Digimon for whatever reason. Uh, the Terrymon Assistant is going to give you plus 4,000 whenever it's rested by an effect, and because of the alliance that this deck so prominently features, this is a great way to get that. Oh yeah, post-editing EC, I also put in one copy of Hidden Potential Discover because the card is amazing. And so that's going to bring this video to a close. I hope that if you guys weren't excited to play this deck before, after hearing all this, you are now, because I definitely am. Additionally, if you folks want to know exactly what comes in the advanced deck package, I'll be doing a separate unboxing video where we'll talk about all of that. Anyways, folks, I'm going to get out of here. Before you get out of here, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.